tuned to Snow Blossom Time at Dog's Pot, world's tiniest town. <laughs> Come on in, Big Bird. Come on in, everybody. Days like this, the weathercocks like to come in and listen to a little music and crow. And crow and chuckle and cluck. <laughs> Days like this, you gotta make your own weather. The weather's only gonna blow away anyway. The weather's nothing but change. Change is nothing. Change blows away. Goes one way, it goes the other, it goes both ways at once. So, just gotta work out some kind of independence. Yeah, that's how I sing about it. People ask me, they say, Davey, what makes you such an expert on the weather? I tell you what, it was Hazel. It was Hazel, I tell you. Turn me on to the weather. What? You never heard of Hurricane Hazel? Well, we never heard of hurricanes at all, Mac. Then, except uh, they're like cyclones, right? In the Wizard of Oz or tornadoes. Of course, in school, they taught us uh, if an atom bomb came, you hide under the desk, and we'd hide under the desk every day. The practice, so we'll be ready for that. Yeah, hurricane, like, what's that? Well, they told us about it when it was there. It's kind of a wayward wind. I was on the pot in the downstairs bathroom in our house and he's still there and, there and there's this mighty explosion and I, you couldn't, there's no window and I ran out to the kitchen to look out the window, look down the drive and I thought I was going to see a mushroom cloud, honestly. I, there was a hundred foot elm tree lying right up the drive, just brushing our house and the neighbor's house. My brother and I went out the next day with the camera. You could walk right up the tree. And it, the roots had lifted that car up just like that by the roots. And uh, we took a picture of me lying down under the car. But there was some, well, we thought it was really cool stuff out there, actually. For those trees not to be standing up was strange. And then, you know, it just it kind of took with me. I was forever a weathercock. <laughs> From then on. Yeah. Well, we gotta go out. We gotta get out there. We gotta get out there and manage the climate. Yeah. <laughs> Wind is what we got here today. Wind spinning the island. Wind whipped the cover off the hoop house, which was keeping it warm. But we'll get the plowboys in there and pull out the sprouted weeds and the uh, icky maggots or whatever they like, actually. Get to it. Get to it. They got the weapons. They got the tools. Yeah. Look at that. All right, now we're buckled up tight and ready for the next week of hot days and frozen nights. Little, this is the wacky ducks going around and around. If you'll sit here with me for a minute, you'll see them go all, all the way around. It's a mated pair. They're here. We also have a 
mated pair of pheasants. Here's the 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 drake and the cock out together. They pretty much consider themselves the same type of thing. Getting ready for well, we're getting ready around here too, trying to get Olive into the idea of bringing some chicks in. I thought maybe she would brood for us. I don't know. I've got the owl in case she doesn't. And uh, I'm gonna try to convince her that uh, that she hatches. She hatched this golden egg. We'll see. They'll they'll be here mighty soon, and we'll see how she takes to them. You know, it might depend on the weather or whatever. So good night, good night, Albert. Good night, Albert. Good night, everybody. Uh, Better weather next time. Tomorrow's another day. That is no time like the present. Gets dark quick in the woods at night. Better get on home and get shut in.